Florian, last year when I spoke to you, you were so optimistic. Now your tone has turned a little more somber. Let me ask you this. 100,000 Bitcoin, we've talked about this. Can it still happen? Yes, uh, it can. Uh, because I think uh, right now I'm really, uh, I, I have my bare head on right now due to the things that are happening in China. But I believe that in the larger scheme, we're still in the crack-up boom. What we're going to see now in the next step after this panic really rolls out, uh, you're going to see central bankers uh, panicking and, and they're going to really, uh, I mean, they're going to expand their balance sheets even more, more dramatically. And maybe they even come up with special drawing rights. And I think that then really will be very obvious for everybody that inflation is unstoppable now and that you have to basically run with everything that you have into hard assets. And uh, this means precious metals. And it also means Bitcoin and um once this correction is over in Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure we're going to see 100K, but I'm not sure how fast it will be. Okay. What, what's, the, what's the relationship there between uh, central bank action, what you just described, and Bitcoin? Do you, are, are you suggesting that people will rush into cryptocurrencies when, when there are uh, headwinds and risks coming out of central banks? I mean, remember, Satoshi created Bitcoin exactly as, uh, as, a, as an answer or a, a way out of this mess that, that we've seen in the financial crisis in 2007 and 8. And um, so it's directly related to that. And um, you, you, you will see, I mean, it, it, they, there is no way out anymore. All this talk about taper and normalization is ridiculous. Um, and, and now, obviously, they will have a new argument like, oh, the breakdown in China, the problems for the world economy, now we cannot taper anymore. But we all knew that it, they won't be able to. And um, you're, gonna, you, you're already seeing energy prices going through the roof. Uh, we've seen lots of other uh, resource prices going through the roof. And, and once they really start with the bazooka in terms of special drawing rights, uh, it's going to be a hell of inflation everywhere. And, and this will drive Bitcoin to new all-time highs at some point. At some point. We don't know exactly when, right? It's difficult to time. So let me just ask you this. By the end of the year, do you think Bitcoin can still be the best performing asset in the market this year? You said that last year you were right. So what about this year? <laughs> oh, that's a tricky question. Um, uh, I mean, right now, Bitcoin is up still 55% for the yeah. year, which is actually pretty good. I think uh, oil is, is giving its best to, to, to maybe catch up. Um, I think there's a good chance that, that Bitcoin it will still be, be the best performing asset. Um, All it has to do is stay where it's at, actually. If you talk about year-to-day performance... Um, it's still the best performing asset by year-to-day performance. <laughs>